Howdy everybody in YouTube land. I have been experimenting with the Noritake VFD display. Actually, you guys may not be aware of it, but Noritake actually offers these displays in a sample. You can actually request a free evaluation sample. They've got the, currently they've got the 140 by 32 up for sample and they've got the 128 by 32 and it's a free sample. They will send it to you. Now you just got to be careful. You might have to prove to them, you know, um, that you're, you're worthy of receiving it or whatever, you know, but anyway. Uh, anybody that's done samples before knows how to do that, but it comes with the tool chain to actually use this with the Arduino. See? The Arduino library is there, you know. Um, unfortunately, though, I mean, actually, before, let me step back up. Which, there's the Arduino Uno, and it's actually connected to the display. Of course, I'm doing a right speed test. It can go a lot faster than that, but... I've slowed it down to 80 or so milliseconds per you per thing, you know. Why are we losing focus now? I hate phones. Anyway, so that's that. I got the free sample in the mail. Uh, it comes with these cables to allow you to connect it to the Arduino. And actually, uh, this is the pamphlet they give you. It shows you the connection. It shows you exactly where you have to hook it into the Arduino. You can take a pause and read that if you like. And this shows the clearly shows the pin out. This can do both a serial and a parallel bus, but if it tells you to do serial, I mean, why wouldn't you? Import the library that you can download from their website. So yeah, you can actually get these displays for free from Noritake. But the video wasn't really about that. Well, it is, but it's not. It's about being able to run the displays in my compiler, which is Bascom AVR. So what I do is, I gotta be different. I don't program in C. I need to learn C one day. I just don't know it. I, I do everything in basic. and. Like I said in the past, everybody likes to diss basic, but eh, I'm pretty good at it. If I can do stuff like this with it, I'm sure, you know. Anyway, but I digress. This is a simple driver. I didn't do anything with math, because I'm horrible at math, and I didn't do anything with graphics, but I did declare the serial port as an output and I declared the subroutines that I was going to use. I did, you know, I did the simple, the simplest thing I can possibly do as far as command goes. Then you see the hello world application that I wrote here. And then there's the simple 80 millisecond delay loop just to rotate numbers one through nine. There's my init LCD. <laughs> and here's my hilariously simple routine for doing the cursor. All I do is issue it line fees and tabs to put it on the correct line. And I could have used a cursor calculation, but that's a calculation that uses XY. Let's pull it up here. Um, this guy, this is this is the sheet that they give you on the website, and it shows the cursor calculation, cursor position. See, screw all that. I'd rather just use line feeds and tabs. Hey, it's simple, but it works. And then, of course, there's the VFD font, magnification settings, clear, set brightness, and all that stuff. And as you can clearly see, it works perfectly fine. This is just a quick video. If you guys are interested in display technology and this kind of thing, you can actually get the VFD from free if you go to nortakielec.com. You can actually get them for free, request an evaluation sample, and you can hook it to your Arduino. If you program in C and you use the Arduino IDE, they give you the library and everything for it. But if you're like me and you use BASIC, 
there's the code to do it in basic. I will post this on their website so that way they have it. And if anybody wants to write the graphic routines and they use this compiler, by all means do so because I would like to have that. So thank you for watching.